Some of the new? I, I don't know. I feel like they got a good mixture. Meta Naris is still playing at RLCS land. That is resilient stacks. It is, and it's a a career in Meta Norris's that has certainly had its ups and downs. The peak of season four. Then the great moment that he shared with you on stage in London. <laughs> and then everything just kind of came to a screeching halt for Metsonoris. And you wondered, would he continue on that path? And he has. But he had to kind of go down to the bottom a little bit, then come back. It's been a long road back to the top for Metsonoris. But he has stuck with it. That resiliency could serve endpoint well here as we get going with this series. Relating Wave, dancing through the air, got to the ceiling, but can't get the shot on target. Does at least require a save out of Garrett G, and now this out to the side from Justin. Relating Wave gave it a look. Metza calls him off, and it's squishy with the clear. That's another thing you have to talk about, too. We talked about Metz, we talked about Seiko, but Relating Wave, another super strong player. We've seen his mechanics on Showcase, and it fits in beautifully with his endpoint team. Teamwork on point, but they are up against the general NRG. This squad is definitely one to watch out for. Garrett starting to go for some very exciting thing stacks. That makes me happy because it means we should have a good match on hand. One thing Endpoint really got going for it is NRG has faced a lot of talent in their time together. They mm -hmm. haven't faced a player quite like Seiko. The way he took over and dominated in the European split. Second to none in the region, but hasn't been that Seiko here at LAN. If he comes alive, NRG going to have a rough go of it. Seiko shot here, saved away. Follow up, brought right back in. Seiko shot, score! Seiko, the man we've all been hyping up. Grabbing the first goal in this best of five off a beautiful touch there from Metzenaris from the side. That's clinical. He makes those shots. But it did take them two minutes to break past NRG. It's Metzenaris setting up Seiko for the opening goal. And NRG now has to answer in the next three minutes. Drop down for Justin to play, but it got around him. So Squishy has to bring this back in, as he so often does. Garrett G all the way at the back. And he just beat Seiko to the punch. Big win for NRG. Can they do anything with it? Justin with a good catch. Relating Wave wins that 50. And it's squishy now to the side. Beaten again by Seiko. Boy, he's just winning darn near every 50 is Seiko. And NRG slower because of it. Squishy got this shot away. And then there's Seiko again. Just teleporting around the field. Good cut there. I like the heads up. NRG not rushing towards anything. If they can get control, that'll be their first priority. It is difficult though. Endpoint's moving fast in the air. Squishy wide to try and set up Justin, but it's gonna be Garrett G all alone at the back with Metzenoris bearing down on him. NRG struggling to clear the zone for any appreciable amount of time. Justin up high, got the read. Justin's back, it's tied. NRG answers back nicely. Look at this speed from Justin. How do you read this? How do you read that? Only Justin can do something that phenomenal. Every now and then, the great ones still find a way to amaze us. Justin did there. Blocked from the corner. Here goes Relating Wave. Gonna be all alone. Not a whole lot of help. Now Metza coming on. Seiko was across. Squishy shot is sent away just barely by Relating Wave. Got that to the crossbar. Everybody had to burn a ton of boost though to get to that ball. And now Garrett G just lets this go and Squishy will control to the corner. Got over Metza, but Metza did the right thing. Couldn't get the ball, got the player. Cuts off that attack. Now Squishy, gonna try to serve one up for Garrett G. Nothing doing there, Squishy can follow. Last minute of game one. Relating Wave finishes off the defensive effort as Metza gets us to the center line, but 
only that far. NRG starting to turn the tide just a little bit. Endpoint trying to turn it back in their favor. Seiko can't get around for that for one more touch that would have given them the lead. There's a good push chance here though. One defender, two NRG. Those are opportunities you want to see. Some team plays coming out. Some forethought put into the drive. But it wasn't there. 20 seconds separating us from overtime in game one. It would be fitting. Seiko with the save. Stopping Garrett G. Now Justin on his way back. Full boost to deal with this ball. Seven seconds. Tried to hang around in the corner. Good block. Justin trying to break free. Metsonora stops him. And we go to overtime in game one. Barely. Squishy was so close to approaching that ball. Another half a second. He actually would have... Ooh. Almost. That's it away, though. Seiko. Now squishy. Shot at net, Garrett. Justin. Ball looking for the flip reset. Metzenoris cut him out. Seiko. Through the wing. And Squishy stops this one. Can he spring Justin downfield? Justin. Got plenty in the tank. Got his shot off. Seiko with the save off the post. Follow up off the crossbar. NRG let a good one go by. And they're not going to get another look here. Squishy's got a retreat. NRG had the win in the bag. Now Squishy shot mm -hmm. again. Sent away. It was a nice drive. Endpoint happy they're still in it. They can't set up their own though. And this is looking like an NRG that's starting to find a bit of their flow. They might be beginning to understand Endpoint's moves here. So Endpoint definitely going to need a switch up if they're looking for an OT winner. Around in front. Justin lets it go. Garrett G for the win. And the captain can't score. Follow up saved away. And Squishy unable to end it there. He's had a few opportunities to put this game away in the second half and into overtime. Now Justin. Good ball out to midfield, but Metzenoris read it quickly. Conserved his boost. Seiko now picked his spot. Almost scored. Here's Metza. Endpoint takes game one. Beautiful precision from Metzenoris. He had so many defenders from NRG in the way. Garrett and Justin had that entire left side covered. He had to put it off the far post, and he does. Metzenaris, a minute 42, and they take it. There was a minute 42 left in the game when Justin tied it with that incredible double. And with a minute 42 gone in OT, it's Metzenaris cleaning up Seiko's first effort. And Endpoint takes game one, and I mean, you can already see there is there is stress on the left-hand side of your screen. Endpoint boys know. All right. You got one. You can see Metza stretching. That's something uh, they do that's... as a team. Just take a moment. Just hit loose again. Stretch it out. Set mm -hmm. back down. You don't get the timeouts here to work with in the Swiss rounds. So yeah, take your breaks when you can get them. I, th I think that's something that's important to realize, too. When you stand up, it's the same reason I'm doing it now. We're... The energy is, is a lot more for, a lot more of that blood flow is uh, a lot more consistent. So if you can get up between your games like that, like Metanaris was doing, you said it. That's something Endpoint has been pushing huge is making sure that energy stays high. It's so easy when you're sitting there all day. They were waiting, getting warmed up. You're scrimming before this. You start to tunnel vision. You start to zone in. And that's not something you want. You want your mind as open as possible. And having that blood flow is very important to making sure you stay in the game mentally. Yeah, your physical wellness is something that we never really saw highlighted with teams in LAN environments until maybe around season six with Dignitas and the support that org had for its team. And now we're seeing a little bit more of the emphasis on physical health and mental health as well. Greg is a huge advocate in that regard. and. We've seen that with Endpoint. Mm -hmm. It has served them well in Europe. Number one team trying to bring a big one over NRG. Got the pressure on in game two. Metzenoris had to the shot. And Garrett G 
sends it away, coming in from behind. Relating wave all the way back to bring it right back in. How about the passing point to point? And Squishy had to be on his toes to make that save. Oh, this is rough here. Garrett somehow stays in wow. the way. That's just slowly bouncing around in front of the NRG net. I have no idea how that managed to stay out with that awkward positioning from NRG. That's land defense. Just a little bit quicker, and those split seconds matter. Metsonaris has Seiko. Land offense is a thing, too. Big demolition. Wishy still with the save. Seiko for relating wave. What a pass! What a play, what a team. The OT winner placed far right. And the game two opener placed far right as a scramble of NRG defense fails to find any structure. This is something that significantly needs to change because that is not a defense that's gonna hold up against, well, most of the teams here at LAN. And point scored first in game one. That went to a nearly two minute overtime. Squishy trying to outlet for Garrett G. Now Seiko. Seiko going to take this himself. And Justin up there to meet him. Didn't let him get the shot off. Boom downfield. Justin's not going to be able to get to this in time. Seiko with the challenge. Now Squishy taking it into his own hands. Far side and he scores. Squishy finally on the board. Hey, just because your defense was struggling doesn't mean your offense has to as well. Good read from Squish. He beats out Relating Wave. He was close, but that gets placed nicely to get around Wave onto the far side and still manage to get in the net. NRG not wasting any time this time. Getting that goal back, and then Garrett scores on the kickoff. NRG's okay. in front. <laughs> they are mad about their performance earlier, and they're making up for it. Great cheat from Garrett. Wins it out against that cheat from Endpoint. And they'll take the lead. Endpoint probably not happy, and NRG still has to watch out for defense. Get all the kickoff goals you want, but if it gets back in your own end, based off what we've seen, Endpoint's looking to grab another goal. Oh, Justin dancing through the blue half of the field. Could not fool the defense. Seiko lets Relating Wave take over here. Seiko's got no boost in the tank at all. Now Metsonoris. Was hoping that midfield would be there. It's not. And now out of the corner, it's relating way for the lead, oh. or for the tie, rather. Not the case. Now Metza drop one in front. Garrett save right over to Squishy. Brilliant touch as NRG relieves the pressure. That's a huge win defensively for the general. Oh, it is, considering how we've seen it handled before. The fact that they get that clear out and get themselves situated again. The unfortunate thing is they're right back there oh, immediately what a win. after. Seiko tried to pop that up, and Garrett G has seen a few things in his time as a pro. Justin got around Metza with ball and car. Now Garrett G to just dish us off to the side, and Seiko read it the whole way. Can he set up for a letting wave? He sure can, and Justin had the save. Rather, that was Metza Norris with the shot. Now here goes Garrett. Could have had a numbers advantage, but just couldn't get out of the zone in time. Seiko's shot addressed by Squishy. Yeah, we're seeing uh, a bit of a pace change from Justin, in all honesty. He's looking mad. He's looking a bit more motivated. He's been working that offense. We see him crushing past one, maybe even two people, trying to set up his teammates. They haven't found an opening yet, but the pace change is what's a good sign if you're an NRG fan. Seiko shot trying to generate a rebound. Relating Wave couldn't play that any further, though, as Garrett. Wins this back to the end point half of the field. Down to a minute 10 to try and level this game at two goals apiece. Metza. Drop that back for Relating Wave. This is trouble. Seiko all alone and saved by the post. Now here goes Seiko. Looking to take advantage of the NRG defense. Drop down for Relating Wave off the rebound. Metza Norris is there. Another clutch goal from Metza. Tied game. Almost a setup there from Seiko's Justin that actually cleared that one down center. An endpoint, relentless, just powers through and managed to break that NRG defense, which honestly hasn't been the hardest thing in this series, but they were trailing. Justin, big drive, and immediately NRG answers as they continue to score in bunches in game two. 
Good touch from Squishy. I like Justin's speed. That's what we want to see. Forty-one seconds remain for endpoint. The letting wave goes through. Metza couldn't get this cleanly. Nor could NRG. Endpoint breaks out in formation. Seiko at least got a touch. Relating waves, bouncer saved away. Relating wave again. Trying to drop this in front. And Squishy has that clear too. Seiko near the mark. Easily dealt with by Justin. That's a great pass though towards Seiko. Didn't quite lead him far enough. And now NRG will try to burn away the final 10 seconds. Garrett G almost reluctantly coming on to play that ball. Justin up high, looking to score here, no and he does! Way. This is what you want to see out of Justin. 1v3, get out of my way! Beautiful dunk. Those defenders had no chance. And NRG take a two goal lead with two seconds left. They're gonna tie up the series one to one. Assists have been a talking point for many of these series here at LAN. We've seen so many great individual efforts. That's the first goal without an assist in this series. Justin making it happen all on his own to put that game away emphatically. NRG ties the series. And what a way to do it. We were very concerned, at least I was, for NRG coming into this match. We saw some questions on whether they're going to hit their peak coming into day two because it was... Uh, not the best in day one and now we see them start off a little slow but all of a sudden justin pulls it back that defense we're still yet to see if they can work that out but justin is taking things into his own hands right now he is moving fast he is not allowing endpoint to have any breathing room on their own half anytime that ball's there justin's there we like to see that setup from squishy he's a playmaker he knows how to get that ball to his teammates but Justin is the one we want to see on that offense, and we're starting to see it. Is it perfect yet for energy? Absolutely not, Stax. But this is a start. It's a heck of a start. This also could be. Garrett G is up. Drop down for Justin, trying to continue the play. And Seiko, excellent defense out of him and endpoint. And it has had to be to keep NRG in check. As you mentioned, the way Justin's going now, this Justin might be impossible to stop. He's got the ball again. Metzenoris at least delayed him for now. And this is set across. Squishy had to give up that corner boost, but he could still get downfield. NRG has had the possession here in this opening minute leaf, but Endpoint have answered the bell so far. So far, you say, Justin might be unstoppable, but you gotta remember Endpoint do have a Seiko. And this guy has been nuts on the field. You have to see him really pop off, in all honesty. And I wonder if we'll see that as the match goes on. But Endpoint playing their game. It's been a relatively close series. Sure, they lost game two, but it definitely didn't seem out of control. Relating wave, clean win. Got Seiko trailing behind. This will angle downward and set away by Justin. Metza had to stay way back. A little slow getting up the sidewall. NRG gonna make him pay. It's Justin again from Squishy. Justin is gonna carry on his momentum from the first one. Great setup. We talked about Squishy being that playmaker. There he is again. He's looking for Justin. When you have a player like this, it starts feeling it. You feed that ball to him. And NRG has the right idea. NRG has scored the last three goals in this series. Justin, by the way, has scored the last three goals in this series. Garrett G, that's gonna find Justin. The ball just seems attracted to him at this point. Squishy, up to meet relating wave. Metza can't get this down for Seiko. He's gotta retreat back to the blue half of the field. Good first touch. Looking to follow it up. That's another great defensive stop by Squishy. Here's Relating Wave, denied by Garrett G. And the follow-up comes from Metza Norris to keep this in the zone. He had to burn all of his boost to do so. Needs some help. It comes in the form of Seiko. And then Garrett G. At least stalls out endpoint long enough. The rest of NRG can get back and recover with boost and positioning. 
the halfway mark endpoint, sure, are holding in, but they've not been able to find any true threatening shots. They've been stuck trying to poke from that midfield. So NRG's definitely done a lot better job of making sure endpoint can't find an offense that <laughs> they've certainly found their own offense and who is it but none other than justin again with the goal it's just not fair not at this point this justin is out of this world he's added another four in a row for the young phenom endpoint certainly does have seiko but he can't stop justin he can only hope to match him. And so far, he has not. Seiko on his way back. Another booming clear just into a general area. Unfortunately, it's the general's area. Justin threads the needle. Only one man to beat him. Metzenaris just barely got a piece of him. Garrett still gets the demo. <laughs> Endpoint in complete disarray. And Relating Wave's done an excellent job just maintaining possession for a moment to give his teammates time. As Garrett was just on a hunt, took out one player, bumped the other. He's trying to open up that scoring chance, but thankfully Squishy did realize that that wasn't going to be an opportunity to score, and he stayed back. Endpoint, on the other hand, did manage to recover quickly, but not find themselves on a strong offense. They're still looking for those scoring lanes. Justin got the flip reset, relating wave as to make a quick turn just to get to this ball didn't have a lot of boost to work with here's Garrett G just pushing one wide making endpoint burn almost all of their boost Metzenoris back with a full tank he is all the way behind the play gonna have to come up sooner or later this is passed down in front for Metza and saved away right at the last one minute to go endpoint down to the biggest deficit of this series of course outside of the final two seconds of the last game both these teams have been neck and neck for most of the way but the edge belongs to nrg it certainly does at this point endpoint's got a very solid foundation but to repeat it's that offense that they've had trouble finding any kind of useful scoring lane nrg shut it out pretty well after the abysmal start to game one Wishy over towards Justin Moore. Possession out of NRG. Endpoint trying desperately to get to the ball just to have a chance. That's deflected away. Seven seconds. Got a score here to have a chance at a kickoff goal. Nothing doing. And NRG one went away from dispatching Endpoint here in the third round. Man, this was a different tale in game one. We saw NRG struggling on that defensive half. Everyone's shaking their heads saying, what is going on? And I'm sure the team was doing the same thing. But that switched up. That changed. Halfway through game two, there was a click. And that click mostly came with Justin. The pace change is what NRG needed. And now you see Garrett playing that support, playing that third man, squishy, playing the playmaker, trying to get in there first to get that ball out to Justin. That's the setup they need, but that's the setup endpoint needs to start to disrupt. Justin has scored four goals in this series. He's been the only player to score in the last eight minutes of game time for mm -hmm. NRG. That only broke it up by the one strike from Metza Norris late in that second game. Justin has come alive. I thought it would be Garrett G. It's not like he's just chopped liver out there. NRG working as a well-oiled machine. It's almost like assembly line offense, and it ends with Justin popping off. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, though, is when you got a formula, there's a way to break it. And mm -hmm. Endpoint, you know, is chatting right now and trying to find out how do we disrupt those? How do we take a piece of that equation away and make sure that it stops before it can be finished? And, you know, I, I think they've tried a few things now. They, they've got that foundation. As I said, they found themselves decently strong around the defensive and midfield half, but they've not been able to push past that point. I wonder if that comes into implementing some demos into the rotation on the on the goal line or if it comes to just having a bit more riskier passing plays up a bit higher out of reach of the nrg team so it, it, honestly there's a few solutions implementing them is way harder we can theory craft as much as we want but doing it out there on the field is not an easy task or else we'd all be doing it so endpoint looking 
now for those solutions and trying to find out how to break energy. If they can't, that's going to be an NRG win as they are sitting on match point stacks. This is where you highlight the importance of a coach. It has been Eclipse's job mm -hmm. to navigate these tricky waters for endpoint, find a weakness and help his team identify and exploit that weakness. That's Eclipse's job here. You have to find a way to get Justin off his game. You have to find a way to slow down NRG. Good luck. Hey, that's your job, not mine. I, I'm just here. I'm three, 4,000 miles away. I don't have anything to offer. That's where Eclipse comes in. And tell you what, there are very few that are better in the business than him. Isn't that just a caster's motto? We have yep. nothing to offer. Yeah, no. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to offer. I don't know why. I don't know why y'all don't just mute the stream. Enjoy the game. Why not? I haven't muted. I've just been lip reading. I have you <laughs> muted this entire time. But <laughs> Endpoint, again, looking for that solution. They're doing their best to try and break NRG, just to reiterate while we get the game ready. They have to shut down. I'm thinking squishy to start off. He's been setting up Justin. You also want that, that speed broken for Justin. If you can get boost away from him, that's another potential solution. But looking for that while Justin's already up in the air tends to be a little bit difficult. You have to be a couple steps ahead of him. In a game like Rocket League, thinking a few steps ahead is relatively difficult because the just the course of action can change in the next half a second, depending. That person goes up for a ball to hit, you think you know where it's going, but they flub it and it goes that way. The entire plan that you had probably just went out the window. Very reactionary. So coming up with those plans that are a few steps ahead, not that easy. But I, I do think trying to take away those back corners from NRG, that boost, is going to be important. And um, looks like two minutes already passed at Endpoint. All right. <laughs> Up a goal. Ah, I see we have decided to apply the all handicap for NRG. Justin, so good, we've given Endpoint a goal. We'll find out exactly who scored that in a moment as we are halfway through. Our fourth game, a game that Endpoint has to win to avoid dropping to one and two. Actually, just by process of elimination, I tell you, it's probably Seiko. I think it's Seiko. Why wouldn't it be? Here's Justin. Course, I mean, that's a safe bet off. off the bat. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. They found the solution. We don't know what it is yet. Uh, you know, I think it's just uh, being a little camera shy. That's all. Like, hey, don't put us on stream for the first couple minutes. At least give us a shot, you know, nerves and all of that. The world is watching. But now they're watching. Can they hold this lead with two minutes left? A one-goal lead over the general NRG. The leading wave will send that high to the wing. And now it's Justin out front for Garrett G. Squishy is lurking behind the play, waiting to come into action. He was waiting for the midfield boost. Never got there. Now Metza. Just dump it right back in with 90 seconds left. So that 30 seconds goes by relatively uneventfully. Endpoint holding the line. If they let NRG get their opportunities. The scoreline's going to change real quick. NRG's looking for that goal. But they might be pushing a little too hard there. They had to get back for a shot from Mets. So they got to be careful about not hunting too hard. They are playing from behind with only a minute left. They give up another one. There's a good chance they don't regain this game four. Mets with a great bump on Squishy as we get to the final minute. Justin, yet again, he is free and clear and Seiko just made the save. Garrett G pulled the string. Squishy coming on. He can't make the shot go through either. And this ends up back on the NRG half. Justin couldn't get there. But it's not punished immediately by Endpoint. What a great opportunity, though, for NRG at that 50-second mark. This is roughly where they scored in game one to force OT. That ball goes over to Squishy. Angling out. And Relating Waves got yet another pop out to the side. Squishy again. His shots just have not fallen. Only one goal so far. All eyes have been on Justin, who has been quiet here in game four. All the way across now, Squishy again denied by Metza Norris. Seven seconds left. Garrett G's got to trigger the counter from way back at his own end line. This will bounce one more time. Squishy, no, it's Justin, and that will seal it for endpoint. They go to game five. 
Yeah, I didn't expect this one to be a quick series, in all honesty. You talked about this being a coin flip. You're absolutely right. And we're seeing that going to a game five now. Justin's picked up the pace. Yeah. NRG's found a little more structure defensively, but Endpoint did find a solution in that game four of what they needed to do to disrupt it. It doesn't matter if it's one goal. It's a leading goal, and that's a winning goal. And they bring us to a game five. What that solution was, I have no idea because we, we didn't see it, but they found it. And for Endpoint fans, that's a good thing. Just rest assured, they're still in this series. What did seem weird is at the end, we saw a lot of shots specifically out of Squishy trying to open up the defense of Endpoint and Endpoint on point. Did not allow any juicy rebounds for Justin or for Garrett. And Garrett's been quiet on the goal scoring front too. I think the total scoring right now for NRG, Garrett won, Squishy won, Justin four. He had scored all of those mm -hmm. in a row. And now we're going up on... Let's do caster math. About 13 minutes now. 13 minutes and one second since anybody other than Justin has scored a goal for NRG. Now somebody else has to step up. Endpoint has at least quieted Justin for a game. Now we go to Champions Field. Does Metza have the ice? Can Seiko come alive? His shot is through, sitting on the oh goal line and God. in. How many goal line situations have we seen at this Sweden Major? Seiko comes down and finishes this one off by himself. And this is why Endpoint is looking so good. They got a solid team with a solid point man in Seiko. Squishy to the heaven. He's got Garrett G all the way across. His shot on the money. And we're immediately tied up in five. This has been a battle of Justin versus Seiko, but Justin doesn't want all the credit. Beautiful pass across to Garrett. The high flying maneuvers allows the general NRG. They get themselves tied up 15 seconds in. And we're back to the start. So that ends the scoring drought for NRG very quickly into game five. Squishy shot sent away by Seiko. Justin waiting on the left wing. But this is going to find Relating Wave after he took out Squishy. And Metza can dump this off to the corner. Garrett G headhunting as well. Now Seiko, 50 boost and a dream. Endpoint on the prowl. But Garrett G, good clear. This might be an own goal. It is dangerously close to the net. What Ooh. a save by Relating Wave. Remember that touch that set this up as Endpoint just Barely gets out of trouble, no. and then Relating Wave turns it into a goal. If that ain't a counterattack, I don't know what is. Beautiful touch from Metzenaris to make sure that Squishy had no idea how that was going to bounce out. Relating Wave can just jump in, give a little tippy tap, and that's a lead for Endpoint. That sequence from Endpoint, how does that ball, first of all, not go into their own net? Second, Relating Wave turning it around that quickly. And now NRG looking for yet another quick answer. Relating Wave didn't have as much boost as he might have liked. That's a great stop, though. Just ramming right into Squishy, stopping his momentum dead in its track. And now up high, Garrett G had to let this come down. Endpoint not up as far as they needed to be to punish NRG there. And with 3.30 to go, finally things look like they've stabilized. Well, NRG probably isn't looking for stabilization right now because they're trailing. They definitely want to mix up in that score line. They're poking and prodding now from midfield. Endpoint doing a good job holding them at bay. Oh, Justin, he was looking. Garrett had the setup for Squishy. Not in time though. Endpoint just a little bit faster defensively than NRG is on the offensive end. Metza, oh that's right at Squishy. This could be trouble for Endpoint, but that's a great read by Seiko. Eyeing that corner boost, but two went to the corner. Nobody was available for the ball coming out. Relating Wave gonna try to create on, on his own with a flip reset, and it's just off the mark. Oh, a little bit high. One more from Endpoint might have. I know there's still two and a half left, 
but that might have been the straw that broke the camel's back. Seiko looking as well. Garrett G just popped it away. I can't believe that shot didn't go in for endpoint. It was so close. NRG thinking they're lucky stars. But that attacker was out of boost. Past the halfway mark, NRG in game five. Still can't find that tying goal. NRG has caught a few breaks. Here in game five, they have not cashed in on those opportunities. Justin, gonna take this through himself. The letting wave got a piece, and this is just gonna find its way in. Metzenoris couldn't catch up, and Justin ties the game from way downtown. Who got that demo on the far side? I missed it, but that opened up the defensive half. I think it was squishy. Super heads up play if it was. And that brings NRG back in with two minutes left. Squishy finding a way to get involved in the offense. The great ones do. Relating wave. Fireworks high above the NRG net with just under 100 seconds separating us from our second overtime in this series. We started in OT in game one. It was Endpoint and Metzenoris coming out on top. Game five headed down that road as Justin has to let this go. Squishy out to the corner. Minute 15. Lateral pass from Metza. And Garrett G over the top of Relating Wave. And NRG can finally clear the zone. Had to be up quick was Metza with Justin in the air. And this water falls down. This is dangerous. End point for the lead. And Seiko! Seiko versus Justin is the story of this match. Back and forth, Endpoint taking the lead, a minute left. He's always there for the setup or the cleanup. You did not want this guy on your half of the field. Fourth goal for Seiko. He has indeed matched the output of Justin. Minus one. Garrett G. Set away by Metza. Endpoint only has to hold on for less than 45 seconds. Seiko beaten by Garrett G. And Metza does not let this get anywhere near the ground. Justin close to his own back line. So too is Squishy. Now this gets through. Could be awkward for Endpoint. Ooh. What a clear by Relating Wave. Yeah. Follow up here off of Metza. Garrett G, the captain denied by the youngster Seiko. The rookie. Sensational here in game five, even game four against NRG. Can Endpoint pull it off with five seconds? Empty no net way. and Garrett G comes through. A small opening for a brief moment opens up on the endpoint defense, and Garrett G finds the only slot it could be put and ties it up 3 3 with three to go. NRG's kickoffs have been lethal. Another opportunity relating which got it down this and does. Alpha went to overtime, the Omega in overtime as well. Game five on Champions Field. Stacks, there is no way this could have been anything other than a game five overtime. This is incredible. Two of the best in the world going at it here. In the third round, one will be one win away from the top eight. The other will be a loss away from being knocked out of the major. It is a cruel, cruel format. Most are. Justin couldn't get around on this. Seiko and Metza can, but that's pushed Ooh. wide. That was a dangerous approach there. Turn on this. Point. Had the opportunity. Oh, Seiko. They can't finish it off. Yeah, Seiko again, boy, just opportunity after opportunity there, Leaf. Endpoint. Probably having NRGs watching the series flash before their eyes. What a clear by Justin with Relating Wave coming down. And now Squishy, lob up for Justin. No, sir, Seiko, the better of the two this time. For a minute of overtime, both teams having scoring opportunities. My hands are raised behind my head right now because this 
is as tense as it can get for either of these teams. A 2-1 record would be beautiful. As you mentioned, the Swiss is unforgiving once you get to this stage. Great win by Garrett G. Could serve some boost as well. Now he's out. And gonna have a tough time finding more. Metzenoris just is that off to the side. Justin brought it in front. It's on the goal line, but Squishy could not finish. The crossbar denies NRG. Justin thought about it. He has to retreat. Thought the last moment it was Seiko that had him beat. And now what a win by Relating no way. Wave! End point off the steal by Relating Wave are now two and one. It almost ends how it started. Squishy leaving the net just a little bit too soon opens up that lane for Endpoint and they steal it away from Justin and Endpoint come out victorious in a game five overtime. At one point, it looked like NRG had turned the corner and Justin was going to lead them to the promised land. And then the well dried up through the entirety of game four. Seiko, an absolute monster, leads Endpoint into game five. He, Metza, and Relating Wave. Mm -hmm. While they made it interesting along the way, Relating Wave, the hero for Endpoint, who are now 2-1. and one. And Leaf, get this. NRG, 1-2, and two. G2, 0-2. Oh and two. NA is free again. <laughs> NA is free again. What do you mean Maybe? again? They always were. They just didn't play any of the regions for two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> This definitely like a seems plan, right? <laughs> yeah, this is this is a little bit of hope you can cling on to here. No, it honestly is great how close this series was. There yeah. was just those tiny mistakes, and those tiny mistakes cannot be made in this environment. You you can't give any kind of inch to these top teams from either region, but Europe specifically, because they will punish you for those. You saw it at the end there. One little antsy push up from NRG. They thought they had that push away but it got intercepted right at the end and there was just a net for that ball to fall into early on we saw a bit of scrambly defense they fixed that and that's what you expect out of NRG they made the changes that they needed NRG shifted after game two with a push from Justin they were able to get that momentum flowing again they were able to clean up that defense and they kept us in the series to a game five and an OT even but endpoint foundation was solid throughout the whole thing they just had to break NRG's new formula they found, and they managed to do that, and then they managed to punish in those final moments. Think about how in this format, every game matters. Chaos abound here. NRG drops that first game to Era Eternity, so they go 3-1 instead of 3-0. That gives them Team BDS, which leads to Endpoint, and who knows? where they end up now fighting for their lives at one and two as the week goes on. Well, we're going to go to a break. And after that, more Rocket League because the Swiss is not done. This entire week is Rocket League. Make sure you're watching in squad mode so you're not missing the mainstream as well. We're going to be back for more Rocket League just after this break.